That's right, Ewan. We are joined by international speaker, entrepreneur, and success engineer, as I'd like to call him, uh, Mr. Robin Wheeler, who's, of course, the author of the book trilogy called Insights, teaching us all about how to unlock the skills of being yourself and living your best life by being yourself in life. And uh, I hope you've been enjoying your, your Express experience so far. That's fantastic. Uh, morning television's the, the best. <laughs> <laughs> now, we took on a poll on Facebook, and we asked people uh, how many of them actually enjoy what they do. It's actually pretty surprising. The stats, yes. as you can see, on the board, where they, uh, we, we said we chat uh, about the six steps of being yourself for a living. Do you enjoy what you do? And about three times more people actually said that they want to change in their lives. Yes. Is that is that the kind of trend that you see? Definitely. It's uh, more than two thirds of people are unhappy with what they do. Yes. And there are various reasons for that. Number one, again, is that work was designed around an industrial model yeah. where we had to give up who we are to fit in. And obviously you can't really be self-fulfilled in that, you know. Another thing is that people are stuck in comfort zones and they're used to doing things, they're scared to step out ah, of that. Yes, of course. They're using fear as a, as a, a guiding principle. So basically, people are, are largely unhappy. Yeah. You know? So I'm, I'm glad that people are actually gaining something from what we've been, do, what we've been talking about. We've, we've listed the four, four steps of the six. Yes. Let's go on to step five. Step five is to be entrepreneurial wherever you work. Mm -hmm. In the past, you had to have an employee mentality. So yeah. you followed the rules, you fitted in, you did what you were told. Um, things were laid out in front of you, so you basically just did what the people before you had done. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, that's one of the reasons people are unhappy, because we don't like really to just be obedient. We like to be creative and we like to be ourselves. Yes. So an entrepreneur is somebody who retains that playful side of life, you know, and is also somebody, so that on the one hand it's a fun element of what you do, but on the other hand it's, it's actually an, a, a maturity. You almost stay a child and grow up at the same time as an entrepreneur because you become much more responsible in what you do. Mm -hmm. And of course you look at the business process of what you do instead yes. of being an employee where you just wait to be told what the instructions you go out are. There and look for those things. You're enterprising, you're seeing like how that. things work and you're actually putting forward proposals and ah. seeing how you can make them work. Step six. Step six is probably the most important one of all and in a way the most simple and most profound step and that is to be more conscious. If we just are here now we are able for all of our intelligences to work optimally. You know, if you're thinking too much, if you're just in your head, it can actually become really heavy. Yeah. You need to be able to think, feel, and be. And th that harmony that you, where your whole being actually comes into full effect mm -hmm. is by being present in the moment, living in the now. And how do you do that though? Well, the now, we're not conditioned into the now. So you, firstly, you have to become aware of it. You have to realize that the moment is with us right here, right yes. now. So you can just tune in. The simple way to do it is just whenever you remember, get into your car, and as you sit down for the first moment that you're in your car, just tune in to the silence. You know, when you were a kid, you remember lying on the back seat of the car and mm -hmm. listening to music, and everything was so intense and so tactile. And now as, a, as an adult, you're busy driving along, thinking about all sorts of things. Yeah, you're meeting, you're your going to yes. the lunch appointment you've just missed, exactly. what you're going to do tomorrow, and like, you're not, you don't even focus on you driving. Yeah. You're not in the now. It's all about past and future. And the now is a different experience. Your whole being kicks in. So just keep bringing yourself back to that gently. It's not a goal. Yes. And again, that's a, a, a past future thing. The goal is the future. What can I use the, the present moment as a means to an end? Mm -hmm. The present moment is an end in itself. When you're here now, everything suddenly reveals itself as perfect. Yeah. And in that, you make your best decisions. So gently bring your, yourself back to the moment whenever you get a, a chance, whenever you remember. Yeah. Now, there's been a lot to absorb today, to say the least. Let's just recap those steps again from step one all the way to step six. Okay. Step one. Realize that there's change happening. It can be very stressful. It can be quite desperation provoking, but it's actually an opportunity. Come to terms with that change. Yeah. Then. Take the leap of faith. Agree to do whatever your purpose is in life, even if you don't know exactly what that is. Then align who you are with what the world needs. So look at your skills, what you're good at, what you enjoy, what you love, mm -hmm. and then look at what, what's happening in the world, what the trends are, and see how you can use what you're good at to be of service to people. Mm -hmm. Then the fourth step is to explore all of your talents. Yes. So even if some of them are just paying the bills, explore all the others because yes. sooner or later those are going to weave their way in and differentiate your brand and make you stand out. Mm -hmm. Then operate as an entrepreneur wherever you work, in a corporation or out on your own. Mm -hmm. In either case, you need to have that entrepreneurial approach. Mm -hmm. And then to cap it all, 
be here now. Be here in the now. Amazing. Sir, so thank you so much <laughs> for your insights. <laughs> Good play on words over there. And of course, uh, we are giving away uh, five to five Lucky Expresso viewers a book set of the trilogy called Insights. If you SMS the word win your name in your city to 33728. But it's Wednesday and time for your hand and makeover tip. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.